Did you know that taking more notes often leads to worse learning outcomes? Research shows that capturing everything can reduce comprehension by up to 40%. Hi, I'm Dr. Colin Roach. In this video, I'm going to be debunking the common belief that more comprehensive notes leads to better learning. This myth has people believing that the more detailed and comprehensive your notes are, the better you'll learn and remember the material. When in reality, the cognitive science research on note-taking effectiveness reveals surprising findings. For example, number one, transcription problem. Attempting to capture everything verbatim occupies working memory with transcription rather than comprehension, which was going to reduce your understanding of the material. Number two, passive processing issue. Detailed note-taking often becomes mechanical with minimal mental processing of the actual content. You know, you're just scribing, you're just recording. And number three, false security effect. Comprehensive notes create an illusion of learning, right? Because you've got all these notes, you've been spending a lot of time on it. Because having these thorough notes makes you feel like you're understanding it, even when true comprehension is lacking. So instead, I recommend using strategic note-taking, such as, number one, I would use the Cornell method, where you divide your page into cues on the left, notes on the right, and summary at the bottom. Look up Cornell note-taking. Number two, I suggest you focus on capturing key concepts and relationships rather than verbatim content. Number three, leave space for questions and connections to prior knowledge. When you're taking your notes, leave that space. If you reread them, you can write that in. Number four, within 24 hours, spend 10 minutes transforming your notes into potential test questions. This is really going to help you. Research from Princeton University shows that selective note-taking followed by active review improves long-term retention by up to 70% compared to comprehensive transcription. So if you really want to learn, you want to get those grades, switch over to this. Let me ask you, were you or are you a detailed note-taker or strategic note-taker? Which one are you? And what is one change you would recommend making to anyone who requires taking notes in their job or in their learning? Give us some tips and share them below in the comments. And follow me for more videos on learning science.